Hey there, it's Dr. Jim Collins and my lazy dog buddy. And we have a great episode for you today. Uh, the topic is, what is Crutzfeld jacob disease? This is a good one because, you know, we talk a lot about Alzheimer's disease and sometimes um, other types, front, uh, frontotemporal dementia, so on and so forth. But there are many, you know, if you look at the DSM-5, uh, nine or ten different causes that we're aware of and types of dementia. So let's talk about this for a little bit, okay? Crutzfeld jacob disease, or I'll call it CJD for short, is a rare and fatal degenerative brain disorder that affects around one million people around the world and approximately 350 people in the United States annually. CJD occurs later in life, much like Alzheimer's disease does, except that it has a very rapid onset. Uh, the, the onset of signs and symptoms is, uh, they, they come on very, very quickly, which is completely the opposite of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's is slow and it's progressive over years. Crutzfeld jacob disease is not like that. The typical age that CJD appears is around 60, and 70% of people diagnosed with it will die within one year. Now that is also not typical of Alzheimer's whatsoever. The earliest signs of the disease are failing memory, changes in behavior, visual disturbances, and lack of coordination. So a couple of those are quite different from Alzheimer's. As it progresses, symptoms include weakness of arms and legs, blindness, involuntary movements, mental deterioration, and coma. Unfortunately, there's no cure. There's really no treatment specifically for crutzfeld jacob disease. And the goal of care right now is to provide as much comfort as we possibly can and to manage symptoms, either with uh, pharmacological agents or other psychosocial methods and means. There are three main types of crutzfeld jacob disease. Experts on this have developed three categories of the, of the disease, uh, all which are different from one another. There is sporadic, sporadic, Crutzfeld jacob disease develops without any known reason. It's completely spontaneous. It develops without the individual having any known risk factors. It comes out of nowhere, in other words. And this is the most common form of Crutzfeld jacob disease, and it accounts for around 85% of all known cases. The next type familial, familial crutzfeld jacob disease is also called hereditary crutzfeld jacob disease. And this occurs when the individual has a known family history of the disease and once beginning uh, or being genetically tested is found to have a genetic mutation associated with the disease. So there is a test for it, in other words. Specifically, there are certain changes in chromosome uh, 20, gene coding the formation of prion protein. That's an important protein that is destroyed here. Crutzfeld jacob disease is actually a prion disease. This form of disease is inherited from a parent and the age of onset is much younger than the first type, sporadic form, between the ages of 20 to 40. Now, the last type of crutzfeld jacob disease is called acquired CJD and is transmitted by exposure to nervous system or brain tissue through various medical procedures, for instance, contaminated neurosurgery equipment or a cornea transplant. That's interesting. The other way to develop this type is to consume the meat or other products from cattle 
known to have bovine spongy form encephalopathy, BVE, or the common term mad cow disease. This form of disease has been observed more frequently in the United Kingdom and other European nations and not so much in the United States. So that's my episode on something interesting, Crutzfeld jacob disease. I'll see you soon. I'm Dr. Jim Collins. Take care of yourself.